Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, once again, we are here to praise and thank the Lord. Let us begin this session by worshiping the Trinity. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, Triune God, we will praise and worship the Lord. If no if you don't mind, would you please stand up and let us join the choir to praise and worship the Lord. Clapping the hands. Father, we adore you. Father, we adore you. Father, we adore you. Father, we adore you. Everybody together. totally to you. You are the creator, sustainer and the protector. And today as we are here to listen to the word of God, let all those who hear the word of God be filled with the Holy Spirit. Please open our hearts so that we may grasp and understand in the right manner what the God wants to share with us today and as the word of God is being spoken all those who hear may feel an inner joy and happiness mother Mary you had the word of God in your heart as well as in your womb you are so blessed pray for each and every one of us glory be to the father and to the son and to the Holy Spirit as, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, the world, world without end. end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I ask you, 
What is a beautiful moment in your life that you remember? Each one of you have different answers, right? Some may remember the first day of your Holy Communion as the first, the most important day. Some may remember the day when you got, a, you became a graduate. Or maybe when you got a new job in a reputed firm. Or maybe the day of your marriage. And there are so many certain events in your life that you always wish to remember. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But in the Bible, we see God is always asking us to remember certain things in, in our lives. First and foremost, we see in the Bible that God is always asking us to remember His commandments. In the books of Deuteronomy as well as Exodus and also Numbers, all these in the Old Testament we see always it is said, you should remember my commandments, my laws and my statutes. Why you should remember all these? The reason is, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 5, we see what is the reason why you should remember his statutes. Because God tells you that you should remember all these things so that you may live a long life and a happy life wherever you are sent. Hallelujah. 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 The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 32 onwards. You must therefore be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn to the right or to the left. You must follow exactly the path that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and that it may go well with you. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. If you keep the commandments, why you should remember the commandments? Because God wants you to live a long, happy life as well as you should prosper in your life. And that is the reason God has given all these commandments. And every time whenever you go, you should remember all these commandments. That is what often we see in the book of Deuteronomy and Exodus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, Again, when we look into the Bible, the Bible always tells us one thing. You should have a remembrance of God in your day-to-day -day life. Very, very important point. You should remember your God and his, his statutes and the remembrance of God will make you prosperous. Hallelujah. 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 In the book of Tobit, the book of Tobit, the first chapter, we see a person, when he remember the name of God or when he has the remembrance of God, he will be protected from doing, committing sins. That's what we see in the book of Tobit. One day, Tobit, together with his friends, went for an outing. He went for a party. And when he went there, there were so many things but he knew that the certain food that is provided there are not good and that has been forbidden by God. And what happened? He did not really taste any of these things. His friends, everyone took it. But he is telling, I did not take or taste the food because I had a remembrance of you, Lord. When he had the remembrance of God, even the whole majority... When they commit sin, he is saying, no, I did not do this mistake because I had the remembrance of yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's listen to the first chapter of Tabit, verse 12. But I kept myself from eating the food of the Gentiles because I was mindful of God with all my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what is, he is telling when I was given an opportunity to make a choice in my life, but to do good or no bad, he could have done. Oh, so everybody is doing this. My friends, what, they, what will they think if I don't take? He could have done it. But he says, I was mindful of, the, of my God. I had just remembered his uh, statutes. And because of that reason, I did not commit sin. Dear friends, 
So first and foremost, a person who remembers God or who has the remembrance of God will be prohibited or pro he'll be, he, uh, he will be uh, free from committing sin. This very same example we see in the book of Genesis 2. The book of Genesis chapter 39, we see for Father Joseph was forced to commit a sin. But when he was asked to commit a sin, dear friends, he is telling, how can I do this sin? Because I think of my God. He is asking, how can I do this sin? Because I think of my God. When the remembrance of God is in my mind, I cannot do that. A serious sin he was forced to do, in fact. We'll listen to that. Chapter 39 of Genesis, verse 9. He is not greater in this house than I am, nor has he kept back anything from me except yourself, because you are his wife. How then could I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Yeah. When he was about to do a sin, the remembrance of God came to him. He's asking, how will I do this? Because I think of my God. Dear brothers and sisters, one thing I tell you. Whenever we are forced or we are prompted to do sins, the Satan will take away the thought of or thinking or remembrance of God from your heart. At that moment, if you are able to think of God, dear friends, definitely you are going to renounce the temptation or you are going to renounce the sin. The Satan knows this well. So what he does, he will not allow you to think anything of that sort, anything of God or something of that sort. He will not allow. So he will just put before you what? Just the pleasure that you are going to gain. Hallelujah. 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 The first, when we come to the uh, book of Genesis 2, we see the same thing. When Adam, uh, Eve was forced to commit sin, the Satan just took away the idea of God from her mind, told her, it's okay. You just see the beauty of this fruit and the benefits that you are going to gain if you eat this fruit and thus tempted her to commit this sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, often we commit sin because we do not have a remembrance of God. I remember once an young girl came to me she told me, Father, I am doing my nursing studies. And she told, when I am in my college, I have 40 uh, friends with me in my batch. We are all together 42. And she says, when the 40 of them, they go out together with many people, they don't go to the church, they do, they do all kinds of wrong things, she says, I, will, I have never done it. I have never done it. And she's, I asked, how could you withstand? She told me, Father, you know, in my study room on the table, I have got the snap or photograph of my parents. And this young girl is telling me, if I look into the photograph of my parents, I just cannot see, Father. Because when I look at this photo, this picture, I remember about my parents, how difficultly, how, what a difficult situation in which they are living. They have taken loan from the bank for my studies and they have got a great hope in me. I should study well, I will come out in flying colors, I should get a job and I have to uh, support the family and they have got a dream about me. And when I look into this photograph, I just cannot do the same uh, thing which my friends do. The remembrance of her parents made her not to commit sin. Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, therefore, in our lives, when we lose the remembrance of God, when we lose the things of the spiritual things in our world, from our mind, Satan creep into our hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, God is always telling you, today you are in a well-settled position. Maybe you are a rich person now. But you should remember one thing. The past, how God led you through. The very same thing is said in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 12 onwards. The word of God says in this way, 
when you have eaten your fill and have built fine houses and live in them and when your herds and flocks have multiplied and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied then do not exalt yourself forgetting the lord your god who brought you out of the land of egypt out of the house of slavery who led you through the great and terrible wilderness an arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions he made water flow for you from flint rock and fed you in the wilderness with manna praise the lord praise, praise, the, praise lord. the lord see the word of god says you have beautiful houses now you have got a lot of money in your at uh, in your uh, hand your herds and flocks have increased a lot you have enough gold and silver with you and you have everything in plenty and when you have everything in plenty please please do not forget your god do not forget your god because there was a time when god led you through the difficult situations dear friends you think of yourself today each one of us let us think of, about ourselves how much troubles we have taken in our past how many times we have we felt that everything is going to be over but in all those moments god led you and today what you are is because of the grace of god therefore dear friends the word of god exhorts you never to forget god hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. dear friends today when we look around see when people are filled with much money and positions and power they no automatically forget god when you are in trouble you have time to visit church you have time to go for the sunday worship now you have everything in plenty you have big houses enough and more money with you you have nothing lacking now you don't feel like going to the church you don't feel like saying rosary you feel so bored to go for spiritual activities god is telling you just remember there was a time when you cried to me and i gave you whatever you need and today what you are enjoying is nothing but my gift dear friends this thinking or remembrance of god should come into your heart then only you will be able to sustain in your spiritual life hallelujah 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 dear friends again the word of god says we when we think about god just don't finish with what is in this world you know after this life here on earth we have got another another place to live on and we have to look forward the word of god says therefore when you do any action just remember of your end today or tomorrow we all are going to leave this world we just do not know the time but be sure once you are born in this world whether you know you like it or not you don't like it you have to die that we know it therefore the word of god says if you want to live a happy life you if you want to live a life that is worth uh, uh, to a christian you should remember of your end hallelujah, hallelujah. the book of sirah chapter 7 verse 36 book of sirah chapter 7 verse 36 the word of god says in this way in all you do remember the end of your life and then you will never sin hallelujah hallelujah let us repeat this is a beautiful sentence zira chapter 7 chapter 7 verse 36 if you can by heart it it is very good at least write in your heart just once again would you please repeat it in all you do in all you do remember the end of your life remember the end of your life and then you will never sin and then you will never sin just think about your end today whatever you have will fade away you have to leave your body here and you have to go to heaven and there will be a judgment place and whatever silly thing that you have done it will be revealed there and you will have a judgment if you have this remembrance in your life dear friends you will never commit a mistake because you know my god sees everything my god sees everything and he is a just god he is going to give me or reward me according to what i do today 
and therefore if you have this remembrance in your heart definitely you will be able to resist sin and you will be able to live a worthy life let's stand up close your eyes please if it possible just open your hands up lord often in our life we do forget about you especially when we are tempted when you get the promptings to commit sin we just don't think about you we think about the pressure that we are going to get today when i am well settled when i have enough wealth money and health everything in plenty i do not have time to think about you in my list of priority you never come in the first place i have so many worries and i have so many priorities a lord as the word of god tells us if i can think if i can remember your face if i can remember you in times of trials and temptations i can withstand and this is what you want us to you you want want us, us to uh, learn today let us praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. oh lord hallelujah. today as we pray Jesus. send Thank forth you. your spirit hallelujah. oh lord we need Thank a remembrance Jesus. of god at yes, every Jesus. moment yes, we need your remembrance lord yes, whenever whatever you do we yes, need to think about our end yes, oh lord when you do something think of your end and you will never commit sin we trust in this word of god zira 736 Hallelujah 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 O Lord Lord we see the last prayer of the one who was just on the cross just right side of jesus he was a thief but he just made a prayer lord remember me when you are in your kingdom and jesus said i mean today you will be with me in heaven all those who remember god definitely will go to heaven God bless Jesus we adore you Jesus we adore you Jesus we adore you. together
praise and thank you we truly believe that you are present amidst us you have rightly said if two or three are gathered in my name I will be among them and today you are here very much present and alive Lord today what we ask is that we should we want to remember you at every time whenever there is a remembrance of yours in our hearts we will be prevented from going to evil we will be blocked from doing sins lord what we need is a touch of yours the book of daniel chapter 14 verse 38 daniel said oh lord you have remembered me you will never abandon all those those who love you yes lord we believe that you will never abandon those who love you today your little children are just standing before you we are weak Lord we do not have anything of our own we do admit today Lord whenever or whatever we do we want you to have the grace to remember you always remember your statutes remember your commandments remember the word of God and whenever this remembrance comes to our mind we will be saved dear brothers and sisters now let us ask the Lord Lord give me the grace to be yours to be yours alone to think and remember you in our day-to-day -day activities so that we may be saved we need the touch of the Holy Spirit let us open our hands and hearts before the Lord and praise and worship the Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As we are ready to receive the blessing, let's sing once again. Your grace. Your grace is in us. Your grace is in us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh,